There's an article coming to us from PC Gamer, and I can't believe this one is this is this is an actual article. All right, let me go and bring it up. I'm gonna move my camera back to the top. Shadow of the Erg Tree's brutal difficulty spike is what happens when you inject Dark Souls into Elden Ring. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, these people. These people. They probably don't even know that Elden Ring was made by the same company. Oh my god, dude. This DLC's similarities to Dark Souls seems to have caught a lot of people by surprise. Shadow of the Earth Tree echoes the original Dark Souls in several ways. For me, it's a boon. It's a huge reason why I liked it so much. Give me a tightly wound map with areas stacked on top of each other and I'm fully in. But as frustration over the DLC's difficulty continues to be the talking point uh, which prompted from software to issue a patch this week to ease the challenge a, a bit. It's clear that not everyone wanted or even expected Elden Ring to go full Dark Souls. These guys who are writing these articles are stupid. And I think that's a problem. Much of Elden Ring's success comes from its wide open world and a number of ways you can approach combat in it. Shadow of the Earth Tree squeezes everything into a denser map, has fewer dungeons and uh, miscellaneous items, and it doesn't warn you in big neon lights that your character is significantly weaker than the regular enemies in the Land of Shadow. It's an abrupt shift from the pacing of the original game which many players uh, uh, likely haven't a touch for two years and smaller scale funnels you towards its main dungeons faster. That's the reason why the game introduces you to the fucking, uh, the fucking nut sacks, the fucking sc the scatter, the scatter uh, nuts. The di the, the, oh my God, dude. Uh, one of my main criticisms of Elden Ring is that the second half has no idea how powerful you are and the difficulty of combat becomes wildly inconsistent as a result. Most players who have combed every inch of lands between will tear through back half of the game, while someone who has largely run from boss to boss might struggle. During one week review period, I was forced into one of the latter. It felt like I was playing the hardest from soft game I'd ever played. But it's not how most people ended up playing Elden Ring, and it's certainly not how I experienced on the subsequent runs because so much of the game was about growing more powerful with every conquest, big or small. FromSoft probably felt that it was necessary to reset the difficulty of the DLC to align both types of players via scatter tree fragments and the items you find throughout the uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree that significantly raises your damage and defense. On paper, makes a perfect sense to me, especially if you wanted to avoid having certain players breeze through it, others struggling to kill the first boss. The problem, I think, is that the disparity between the types of players who come from some fro um, sorry from soft games for the raw 1v1 me bro challenge uh, and those who played Elden Ring and gradually crested that challenge by clearing every inch of the map, which is obviously a valid way to play it. When everyone is taken back down to the equivalent of being a low level, almost nobody is happy. As the criticisms and discussions over the DLC's difficulty have continued, I've seen just how many different ways people approach Elden Ring. Some people min-max every item until they had an unstoppable build with, <laughs> with a recipe of buffs to apply before every fight some hunted down every cheesy strategy they could find and others cruised through the game extremely over leveled with either from killing a certain crow over and over and spending hundreds of hours exploring this was a huge part of, of the success of elden ring anyone could play it and find their way through it but the dlc that flexibility has now become its curse as players were used to a very different are used to a very different game has been forced to adjust oh my god dude this is this is such a oh my god i suck at video games can you make it easier come on asmongold made a shield build he had a shield build that he didn't have to 
roll or dodge anymore. All he did was basically shield it and stab them until they died. I saw a build where this person used madness, and this uh, uh, this is this is of course spoiler free. Um, they're fighting uh, Relana. I fought her and I killed her after like an hour. Killed her in like three seconds in one move, which is crazy. Got this thing where it's like a madness thing, and they did uh, what's it called again? Um, a rolling thunder or whatever perfume bottle. Like it, it, it's like a rolling thunder kind of rolling lightning or something like that. And it's basically you aim it at the ground and you throw the weapon, and it basically uh, like it throws like a bunch of it out. But if you aim it at the ground and you throw it without auto uh, auto lock onto the boss, it all of them auto ignites at the same time. And I guess this person used like a madness build. I forgot what it was, and it basically one shot at the boss. Which is crazy. Which is insane. Right? I was watching a clip on, um, on, I think, uh, Emeru and Tectone were talking about it. And it killed, the, it killed her in, like, one or two seconds. I'm like, what the hell was that? This piece of shit doesn't know how to play video games. And this piece of shit doesn't know that Dark Souls and Elden Ring come from the same company. Of course the game is going to be fucking hard. Of course, Miyazaki doesn't want people to breeze right through the game. Oh, but it's too hard. This should be an easy mode. Stellar Blade added a story mode. Come on. Oh my God, dude. This is it. Yeah, uh, uh, no. Oh no, it's a skill-based game. Shame on you, FromSoft. Yeah, defense. Yeah, defense is kind of broken along with madness. Yeah, this is insane, man. This is absolutely crazy. Holy crap, man.